Chapters to another unboxing today, and this time we have Batman Returns Deluxe Art Scale One Tenth from Iron Studios. I'm so excited. I haven't seen a review yet on this, uh, so I'm so excited to bring it to y'all and to share with you my excitement for this piece because I'm so freaking elated. I actually just got my shipment from Iron Studios, which came, I mean, surprisingly, from my notification to pay for it, came like within three days. I just got this in Scarlet Witch, which I'm so excited to unbox next. Um, but before we even continue, who am I? Hi, my name is Joe Pierre Bon Jovi, and if you're meeting me for the first time, I'm a content creator and collector here on YouTube. It means the world for you to be here with me. I upload content every Monday and every Thursday here on my channel. This is not a niche channel, I do a little bit of everything. So it means the world if you subscribe below and hit that bell to get notified. Today I'll be reviewing this and giving it my personal review out of 1 out of 10 um, based on movie just how accurate it is to the movie and the nostalgia it brings from my 90s. I typically collect everything and anything that's from the 90s. It just, um, I'm a 90s kid. Well, me, 90 baby, but I'm a 90s kid. And um, when I saw this piece, I had to have it. I already have the Penguin and the Catwoman, and so I'm really excited to have now the Batman to add to this collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So, uh, it does ship in this box directly from Iron Studios. Now Iron Studios does a uh, box, double boxes it, in bubble wrap in another box, because I also, and it came with the Scarlet Witch, so it comes in a bigger box. But if you, you can't order this through Sideshow Collectibles, and if you do, it comes, it just comes in this actual box. It doesn't come pre-boxed. That's the one distinction. Um, as for price point on this piece, I believe it was like 189-ish, 189-ish. I don't re quite recall what the price point was for this piece. Um, and then I do know that you could purchase it. I don't believe it's available anymore on Iron Studios, but I do know Sideshow many times still carries them, but you do pay anywhere from 10 to $20 more on Sideshow than you do if you buy it through Iron Studios directly. The perk of purchasing anything from, Iron, from, uh, from Sideshow Collectibles is that you do get it many times a month to two months in advance uh, compared to Iron Studios, which takes forever. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I'm going to say I'm not that big of a fan of the art box because it's kind of concealed, but that's why I can't wait to open this and to actually experience this piece. So here we have the art box. You have a, as you zoom in, you have this 3D, sorry, Ooh, there we go. You have this uh, uh, zoomed in portrait of the piece. And as you can see, he's hiding. He's behind his cape, which is a very different pose that we've ever seen before from a Batman statue, which is quite appreciated. Here you're gonna have like a see-through version of it. And in the back you have a full scale zoomed out uh, position of Batman. And he's on top of like in, in, of like in his bat cave slash mansion, he has these like spotlights and you barely see the spotlights in the beginning of the movie, barely see them. And you've never seen them in this pose. So this is like a concept that Iron Studios created. It's not taken from a scene of the actual film. Um, and of course, it is laminated in, in those areas. It's also this midnight purplish, bluish color, which I really like a lot. Um, and for the first time, I'm noticing something different down here. It does say uh, WTC World to Collect, uh, which is right there. I, that's the first time I've seen this on any Iron Studios packaging. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and dive into this bad boy. I've yet to see a review on this piece, so I'm really excited to bring one to y'all. Probably by the time I upload this, someone will have already reviewed it. Um, let's dive in. I do know that my, I did do a review on the Penguin one. My Penguin one has had a lot of views on YouTube, so I appreciate you all. Not many also picked up that piece and reviewed it. Now, when you do open this piece, um, you want to be very mindful uh, to always open uh, up the side up that says Iron Studios. Open this side up. Right. 
it looks like this piece, it comes with three pieces. So it's just three pieces to this. So the assembly should be quite easy. Let's move this up. And we're gonna start with what seems to be the base, which is this, which is very heavy. And with everything, I'm always gonna experience it myself before we zoom in. Sweet. Awesome, so the bottom does say Batman Returns. Uh, Batman, there is no addition size, like with any Iron Studios piece, unless it's a big, big, big piece, there is no addition size. And so, place that right there. As you zoom in on the base details, um, you have, it's uh, four gargoyles. It's very reminiscent to Gotham City. But again, I do believe that this is, uh, this is somewhere near the Batcave slash the top of his mansion which makes no sense because why would bruce wayne have any batman logo on his mansion um but we'll, we'll, you'll, you'll see exactly what i'm talking about in a moment because this portion right here goes on top of the base and it's like this spotlight and you actually do experience this in the film um in close to the beginning of the movie it's this like lighted spotlight with the batman logo and it's this is not supposed to be like alfred's call uh, not alfred it's not supposed to be uh gordon's like call to uh him it's not that um because it does look like the spotlight from the actual um you know when every time gordon uh summons um <laughs> batman you know that 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 light up in the sky right um so it's not exactly that but maybe it is because there is a portion of that film when you watch the beginning where right above his mansion or like near the bat cave he has these spotlights um so yeah now this just keys in easily right through there now, a lot of people were really disappointed because we presume that this would have been a light-up feature, and it is not a light-up feature at all. Um, this also does not move at all either, but this is the actual, um, this has like a, like a plexiglass type, like plastic um, finish to it here. Um, and there you have it. It looks pretty cool. It's not symmetrical by no means. It looks worn out and, and torn and it doesn't move at all either. It's also like kind of bent. I think that's just intentional like that. Uh, it does look a little cheaper than what I would have presumed it to it to have been to be completely transparent with you. The base I love this, nah, not so much. And finally we have Batman which comes in one piece. So excited to see this. Do protect his little head here. Wow. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way really quick. This cape is of a different material. It doesn't feel like polystone at all. He's quite light. He's not heavy. I do have a lot of pros and a lot of cons about this that I, I, I don't really like that much. But we'll dive into that in a moment. And he is going to peg in right here. Pegs in quite easily like this now let's have you zoom in on this i i really do love the angle of this piece it's different it's like a it's a he's like in motion we, we're not used to seeing batman like this and where we have so much of him being covered so i do really 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 appreciate it that's the front view right there looks really sexy i love that his hood is matted um, it looks iconic. I love the cape right in front of him. But what I don't appreciate though 
is what they did with the washing of the cape on the bottom. It's just too much of that wash. Yes, I get it, the cape is dirty, but it has too much of that beige taupe detail, and it's not that like iconic like leather, leather, leather black detailing, which I want to see more of, and so it kind of takes away from it. Now, granted, it does have this like leather-like shine to it, but this really ruins the illusion a lot. I get like if some tips, but the, they use too much of the bottom base to do that. And like, ugh, kind of like, it, it kind of kills it for me. I get the realism they want to create, but um, I kind of would have preferred a clean, more pristine, black, black, solid leather cape. Now, when you come over here to the sides, the only opportunity you have to see his side portrait like a side angle of him so you get to see the iconic yellowing of his belt and the batman logo on his chest as you zoom in subtly and i'm going to actually bring this piece up closer in a moment when i'm done doing this review so you can see the details even up closer and then you have again you i love the weathering of his boots here i love the boot and the gray suit as well it looks great um, and then his gloves also have that leather like detail shine, which is amazing. I do also love the way he's holding this cape here. So here you have that leather like detailing holding the side of the cape, but then here you have, he's holding the insert of the cape. So I like that realism that they created there with his arm there. And I love how you can see his arm here too. Beautifully done. That's an incredible detail. Um, that could have been done so sloppy and it, it was done beautifully. And then if you look at the front of his face, which you're going to see in a moment, his eyes, you do see they're very clear, um, which very, a lot of detail to the eye. But on the side angle of his face here, his, just, his face looks so awkward right here on the side. You're going to see that a little closer when we come up a little closer. And as we zoom back out, this is it. This is the 110 scale Batman, the official Batman Returns piece. Because the other Batman that we got was Batman 89 with the Batmobile or the Batman 89 um, just um, just by, uh, just the standalone Batman 89 piece. So let's go ahead and I will be right back and I will zoom this in. All right, so here we are. This is the close-up I wanted to share with you all. So as you can see, his eyes look incredibly vivid. Um, they are surrounded by that black marker paint, but his eyes are very clear. You see the pupil, the blue hue. They have that. They're a little laminated, so they're shiny too, which I appreciate as well. Here's that side portrait I was mentioning. Hold on as we position this camera a little better. So that's that side portion view. This is where you're going to see the little Batman logo as well. I just wanted to bring that closer to your attention because a lot of people wanted to experience it on the side angle and we didn't really have a chance because Iron Studios didn't really have, um, they didn't have much uh, much detailing or depiction on that. But again, it's a unique pose, a very unique pose. Again, this right here, it's just too much of that, 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 that taupe beige dirt mark, which I don't really care for. But I did want to share that. And there you have it. That is the 110 scale of Batman Returns. I hope you enjoyed this video, y'all. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.